And uh, one more time for the sake of saints. This is the voice, this is the voice, this is the voice of Radio Free Naruda. Greetings! Welcome to Wetlands Remediation Death Camp. There is no escape. We are Adjunct Supervisor Cowpox. Named after the infectious disease caused by the orthopox cowpox virus. We are also known as catpox, but that is a separate Swedish passport. Heil Naruda. <coughs> Attention. Senapa salad de fruit. Say come pop the fruit. The United States is divided into three major power grids East, West, and Texas. What does that mean? Well, while West Coast Crispy Flake swapping spit are being suckered over juice for jazz, every time Birmingham farts, New Yorkers sniff for the extra kilowatt. Triple redundancy in electrical co-op. Texas is nuclear. Herr Doctor, the twelve dozen Adam and Eve Fifty Shades of Grey butt plugs are in. Good. Gross. What's with all the thunder jelly? Nepali Guard is down with cholera and the clinics out of opium suppositories. Bummer. And the rubber. It keeps them tidy. Greetings. This from our audience. God damn, you are a special kind of stupid. 
Apparently, you can't even figure out how to take a fucking bath. Blocked. And good riddance. Marissa Fonick. Mademoiselle, alors sortez de vous notre air. Nous avons frappé ça pour ce temps, 14 années maintenant. Opposant à la guerre, nous avons refusé toute l'ablution. Notre voisin, langue striker, ne pas durer le trimestre. Arl Naruda. If we look to the answer as to why for so many years we achieved so much, prospered as no other people on earth, it was because here in this land, we unleashed the energy and individual genius of man to a greater extent than has ever been done before. Freedom and the dignity of the individual have been more available and assured here than in any other place on earth. The price for this freedom at times has been high, but we have never been unwilling to pay that price. Those who say that we're in a time when there are no heroes, they just don't know where to look. I sing of Olaf, glad and big. E, E, coming. I sing of Olaf, Glad and big, whose warmest heart recoiled at war, a conscientious object or His well-beloved colonel, Trigwet's pointer most succinctly bred, took erring Olaf soon in hand. But, though an host of overjoyed non-comps first knocking on the head him do through icy waters roll that helplessness which others stroke with brushes recently employed anent this muddy toilet bowl while kindred intellects evoke allegiance per blunt instruments olaf being to all intents a corpse and Wanting any rag upon what God unto him gave, responds without getting annoyed. I will not kiss your fucking flag. Straightway the silver bird looked grave, departing hurriedly to shave. But, though all kinds of officers, a yearning nation's Blue-eyed pride their passive prey did kick and curse until for where their clarion voices and boots were much the worse, and egged the first-class privates on his rectum wickedly to tease by means of skilfully applied bayonets roasted hot with heat. Olaf, upon what were once knees, does almost ceaselessly repeat. There is some shit I will not eat. Our president, being of which assertions duly notified, threw the yellow son of a bitch into a dungeon where he died. Christ, of his mercy infinite, I Pray to see, and Olaf too, preponderatingly because unless 
artistic sly he was, more brave than me, more blonde than you. <coughs> then you save time spent at the zoo. Wildebeest would be but new. Who knew? Proceeding was brought to you by the makers at Golematic. Bright Lies for Dark Truths.